Welcome ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, with another high level match of Warcraft 3. And I've got here, in the bottom right hand side for you, the German Night Elf, Kevin, versus none other, but the legend himself, in the upper left hand side, that's Grubby. The most beloved, probably, personality on the scene, or definitely one of. He's opening things with the Blade Master crit as a first ability versus Emo Hunter on the opposite end with the Immolation. Of course, you can see Kevin already making his way halfway up through the map. Floors on the Demon, nicely done by the Circlet from the Goblin Merchant, keeps going up. Grubby scouted this earlier with the peon by the way so he not he knows what's up here play master healing currently second burrow for grubby in the main base going into tier two and now kevin is coming he wants to take some of those peons and look at grubby <laughs> grubby attacking the demon hunter with the peons now builds a wall mill oh grubby what a play here my guy i like the way he Blocked the uh, Kevin. Oh, look at body blocks with a peon. Are you kidding me? There's another one here. Oh my days. And that's the thing. Once you be in a pro, you never forget certain things. Tier two for Kevin as well. Understandably behind Grubby's tier two. Now it's interesting to see. Whether both players are going to kind of follow the meta that settled for this matchup. And I have the feeling that Kevin will. No. Even he won't. There are the Huntresses. So that's already telling me. He's not going to follow the meta either. Nice play here by Kevin. Teleport on top of the Wisp there. And now coming for some peons again. He couldn't kill any earlier. Let's see if he can kill some now. Meanwhile, Gr Grubby is creeping with the Blade Master and the Grunt. And now he's coming on the way back. Nice. Nice. Ooh, Demo Hunter is going to have to use the Star for Teleportation. Can the Blade Master catch him now? No. That was on time. But yeah, we're not going to play by the meta, as I said. Huntresses are coming already. Oh, is Kevin stuck now in his main base? No, he's not. Okay. Another Moonwell. Mention of war on the move. That's going to be level 2 demon now. There you go. Plus slippers. Very good for the demon. Grubby is taking on the Goblin Merchant in the meanwhile. He's already uh, level 2, by the way, on the blade. Which means Grubby now's got a Windwalk available for himself. Kevin looking with the Huntress. Finds him. There are the other Huntresses. Nice. This is nice for Grubby. He knows what he's against now. Also, the Demon very, very badly wounded. A nice around. On one of the grunts for Kevin. And he's going to kill the other sea turtle as well. Nice kills for Kevin there. He sees with the wish that Krabby is not creeping that gold mine yet. Shadow second. Shadow second. For Krabby. Naga second for Kevin. And now Kevin's going to come for his natural. He'll be looking for expansion. Meanwhile Krabby... Taking on an orange camp here. He wants to level up the shadow. Okay, brute strength and snare. So we'll see some raiders. Probably it's closer to the meta than Kevin is. Usually what happens nowadays between Orcs and Night Owls. Uh, Night Owls goes for talents. Then you see Orc goes for Raiders and Spirit Walkers. Oh, 
Not long ago, we saw a, I believe that was sewing where he went for raiders and shamans instead of uh, spirit walkers. And he almost made it work. He almost made it. I believe, yeah, it was a game literally not long ago. Could have been even yesterday's video. And I believe it was sewing versus Carrefour. But I could be wrong, it could have been someone else, so I'm pretty sure it was sewing. Blade level 3, taking on the marketplace grubby. Shadow, got a dust of appearance as well. A big mana potion here for grubby also. That's gonna be for the shadow of course, the replenishment potion on him. And now Krabby is going to be on the move. Why is a Zeppelin as well? Okay. Huntresses and Dryads. That was a very old strategy. For night I was very old. I was a teenager. And still playing Warcraft at the time. And I actually used to play Night Elf. And that was my favorite build. That is what I used to play the most, Huntresses into Dryads. And I used to win a lot of games on ladder with that build by the way. Nice. Grubby with the ensnare here finds couple kills already at the start of the fire display master. Becoming a beast really. Kevin is building a shop here. Grubby disappears with the wind walk. Okay, Kevin denies the dryer there. Grubby wants to finish this creep off. <laughs> Grubby picked up the item under Kevin's nose. Kevin still go for the shop there nonetheless. And it looks like Grubby is staying on tier 2. He's not going on tier 3. Armor at 1 by the way. The Shadow Hunter got stunned there by the Rock Golem. Luckily Kevin wasn't near to see this. Another slippers for Kevin there by taking on the green D turtle camp. And Snare on the radar from the creep again. Probably needs to be careful. Probably needs to pay attention a bit more now. Kevin is around. Demolishers for Grubby. Okay. That might as well just do it. Exxon Diva Hunter. Okay, Fort Lightning is coming from the Naga. But those Dryads are dying so easy really. The Shadow Hunter. Heal wave comes at the last moment. So managed to save him for now. But this Blade Master though, looking with a critical damage. 18 units, one by one. Now Kevin is picking up on the Zeppelin. Okay, picks up the shadow, drops it back down. Shadow's in trouble in the middle of the base. Grubby meanwhile with the Blade Master seems to be clearing out things. In the potion on the demon, heal potion as well. And now the Naga gets ensnared. Heal wave again is coming from the shadow. Probably with enough mana now on the shadow as well. And probably managed to defend. Also, hex and snare on the naga. Hold on. All of a sudden, probably finds a hero kill here. We got the first blood of the game for us. And blade with this huntress kill up to level four now. Ooh, is this where grubby? The dryer got stuffed out. But another one will fall down. Grubby found a lot of kills here in this fight. Demon Hunter got it, uh, hexed as well. And now zero man on the demon. Hold on. Grubby loses the Shadow Hunter though. And Kevin returns the favor. Oh my goodness. What a game we are having here. Naga level 3 now. I believe that was the right play for Kevin to revive the Naga at the top. And now the Blade Master. There's no mana for... Windwalk, but the Zeppelin comes in and picks him up. Oh my days. 
Oh my days. Grubby always entertaining. Oh look at these uh demolishers are making mints out of the dryads. Jesus Christ. What an intense and long fight that was as well. Literally Hero for hero kill, loads of units dead. Grubby making sure he's taking off the shop there by nearby his uh, natural. And Grubby sends a P on there. He's gonna try to counter expand. He knows Kevin has got the gold mine already on two and kevin stays at tier two as well hunters versus dryads i guess both were thinking that the game might not go too long which could be the case still because they leveling up their heroes pretty well And in fact, Kevin is going into mass riots, looks like. He's not even bothering making any more Huntresses. Now, Groby sees this with the Blade Master, and he's very well aware. Now, Dryads are very good units. Uh, magic immune. The only problem with Dryads is uh, they're quite squishy, and they could die very quickly. So these demolishers, if Grubby can manage to protect them at the back and give him enough time, he can crush Kevin for sure. Now if Kevin can split his dryads correctly though, then Grubby could be in all kinds of problems and for surely will be sweating. And I believe now Kevin came at the raw at the right time here. Wrong time for Grubby, of course. He never wanted to come at this time. While he was creeping, Kevin come, came from behind. And one Raider is dead. One Demolisher is falling down also for Kevin. And now the Blade Master is in trouble. Taking a lot of beating for no reason there. And he's in no fighting shape currently for sure. Now Kevin targeting the shop. Kevin is targeting the shop, there's more Dryads arriving. That's a shop falling down. And I don't think Grubby could have afforded to let this shop fall down like this. But it is what it is. It is a fact that Dryads fall down. Nice Call of Beast kill and a Dryad got freed as well. Another Dryad is instead in the middle. Heal wave comes from the Shadow Hunter. Two more Dryads are falling down. Ooh. Those demolishers, I told you, they can do the work given the time. But Grubby loses the radar as well. Now we got Hippogriffs. And clever from Kevin, he's going to let that Hippogriff deal with the Zeppelin. And in the meantime, the fight continues. Final grunt for Grubby is dying. He's got another one though on the way. Kevin is very brave with the Demon Hunter, and of course he will, he's got a big heal potion. Naga as well, oh, Kevin looks like he's targeting the Shadow Hunter. Speed scroll is activated, Grubby is not done. He's chasing after those Dryads, and he takes them down, oh my god, the Blade Master is level 5. But meanwhile, this is what happened, meanwhile. Kevin took on the Shadow Hunter. The Shadow Hunter is currently benched. Naga consumes Inver Potion. Now the Demon Hunter gets ensnared. This Demon Hunter is so tanky though. You can see he takes on a lot of beating. Demon Hunter's in trouble there. And now he's gonna TP. Oh, the Blade Master. And that's the GG.